Hello everyone, welcome back to Great Linguistic Expectations. It's Alena here and today I'm going to present you the video that is more related to the title of this channel than the previous ones because it's going to be connected with the language directly. Uh, quite expectedly, the language of choice today is Finnish and, um, well, <laughs> the language <laughs> that I have love and hate relationship with. Mostly love, of course, but sometimes I have little mental breakdowns because of it. <laughs> anyway, some time ago uh, I was uh, researching some stuff about uh, the Finnish language on the internet and I stumbled upon uh, uh, some phrases, uh, they are more like uh, idioms, that I actually <laughs> enjoyed reading about a lot, because they are quite curious. And in today's video I would like to share with you some of my favorites and I would like to tell you whether they are connected with the Russian ones in any way or not. Without any further ado, let's start with uh, the typical Finnish uh, idioms uh, that I enjoyed. The first one is um, about a wide uh, happy smile and uh, uh, Finns say, as uh, the internet says <laughs> at least, um, that a person humula queen nantalin aurinko that he smiles like a sun in nantali. Um, I assume that uh, the sun is quite a rare thing in that region. Although I know that nantali is close to Turku, and um, I was in Turku. Uh, like a week ago and it was <laughs> very warm and sunny there so I think I just got lucky. You can explain me this phrase in the comments. The next one is about the moment when the person we're talking to uh, has uh, let us down and just uh, got us angry or disappointed. In Russian we usually say that we're gonna show this person where uh, Kansas uh, go to pass the winter. That's very weird. I actually don't know how this happened in our language. And in Finland, uh, you say that um, you can vida saunan taxi. Uh, that means that you're gonna like uh, get the person behind this sauna. Um, I don't know what what dark stuff happens behind the sauna. Uh, you can also explain me this phrase in the comments. But uh, I think that it's quite a dangerous place. Maybe because it's dark and uh, like there's a forest behind or something like that. The next part of my favorite Finnish idioms uh, is about the ones that are more or less close to our Russian mentality. And uh, the first one is um, uh, about the situation when everything just uh, blows up in your life and goes wrong. In Russian we say that everything goes to devils, like little devils, and in Finnish it's uh, cuter and maybe not that harsh and um, it sounds like menna pipariksi, like everyone goes to cakes? Oh, could you tell me what pipariksi exactly is? Like little cakes or... Uh, I don't know actually, or maybe cookies or whatever. Anyway, that's very cute and uh, the situation doesn't seem <laughs> that bad after you say this phrase. The next one is um, about the weather and actually I think that it's gonna be uh, very up to the moment uh, in an hour in St. Petersburg uh, and it's about the rain. Uh, in Russian we say that uh, it pours like from a bucket and uh, in Finland uh, you say that it pours from uh, uh, like a bath, bath tube. Sata kuin savista kata and I think Finnish is too difficult for me today to pronounce. I don't know what happened. <laughs> well, to be fair I think that it's uh, more accurate about the pouring rain because like bucket is so small and bath tube is much bigger. Then, speaking of uh, people who have problems with their memory, <laughs> um, uh, in Russian we say that uh, this person has holes uh, in uh, their head, and in Finnish it's um, about chicken memory, 
jolla kulla on kanan muisti. Actually, I think that we have the same thing in Russian. We say chicken brains. I think I heard it. Maybe. Now I have doubts about the Russian language. It's a weird day today, I'm sorry. <laughs> then, moving on to the next phrase. Um, it's about uh, a person who is very lucky, who escaped danger or something like that. In Russian we say that uh, this person um, comes out of uh, the water dry. And in Finland it's about a dog. And you know I love animals. <laughs> so it's much cuter. And uh, you say like that uh, this person uh, came through the panels of the fence like a dog. Pasikun koira verajasta. So I like this more than the Russian one. Another one that I consider much cuter than uh, the Russian phrase uh, is about a person who uh, changes uh, their mind uh, on a regular basis. In Russian we say that uh, this person has uh, seven Fridays uh, in a week. Also kind of weird why Fridays, maybe because like the weekends are closed, I don't know. And um, in Finnish it's uh, head can lapsy, like a child of a moment. That's very poetic and I like it a lot. And the last one of the section is the one that I like the most because it's very relatable. Uh, when you want to say in Russian uh, um, something about the person who can't uh, do um, any stuff, uh, you say that uh, uh, their arms uh, are short and at Finnish it's about the nails that are short. And I like it because uh, I'm a fan of long nails, so I think that's lucky for me. I can't say that uh, I actually like the next phrase, uh, but it's very curious and I have a question about it uh, to my dear Finnish subscribers. Um, when you are in a situation when you want uh, to thank someone, in Russian we promise this person uh, gold mountains and in Finnish uh, you promise uh, nine good ones and eight beautiful ones. What's going on <laughs> in this phrase? Could you please explain uh, who is good, who is beautiful? What are you guys promising to the person you'd like to say thank you? And the last idiom for today is the one that I love absolutely the most. It's so adorable and cute and, well, also very typical and Finnish. I love it, just love it. Um, when you want to inquire <laughs> whether the person <laughs> is crazy or not, um, in Russian we can say that this person doesn't have everyone at home, like every member of the family. And in Finnish uh, you can ask uh, whether all the mumins are in uh, the mumin valley. Onko kaikki mumit laksossa? That's so adorable. Guys, do you really use this phrase a lot? Because if you do, just wow. Good for you. I love it. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I would be happy to read some more curious Finnish idioms, so please share them in the comments below and I will see you next time in the next video. Thank you, goodbye!